good afternoon slash evening or slash whenever it is. Uh, this is going to be a just dread build. Yes, it is. Um, what are we building this time? Uh, because we've made quite a lot of progress recently on my uh, uh, Jimmy Kimmel block, uh, the plaza, and everything we're doing there. But you know what's missing? A pub. Yeah, I am kind of like known uh, in some circles as Magathea, builder of pubs slash taverns slash inns slash drinking holes slash bars slash speakeasies. And uh, I am now going to make a bar uh, slash shuggy hall for Just Dread. Um, now, if you don't know what shuggy is, shuggy is the uh, Mega City One, the Judge Dread version of pool or billiards or, or snooker. Uh, it's played on a, a similar kind of table, bigger. With uh, it's not a flat bed; it's got kind of like bumps and lumps, and there are 24 holes. And the rules for shuggy were actually explained in a Judge Dread role-playing game supplement in in the the, the uh, 80s or 90s produced by Games Workshop. It's very cool. Um, and uh, but yeah, I'm not even going to try and explain them here. Needless to say, uh, the shuggy hall and this bar is going to be a kind of like a, a den of vice and corruption, uh, a wretched hive of scum and villainy, if you will, uh, in the Jimmy Kimmel block. And uh, we're going to get on and do it, uh, kind of like now. Um, what we're going to use? Uh, we're going to use. You'll have to excuse the sunshine. It's the Saturday and the August bank holiday has been peeing down with rain all day. And as soon as I want to make some videos, I'm getting loads of sunshine through this window here. And I don't have a blind on this window, which is really annoying. So, look, I'm getting all kind of like moody lighting here. The sun here, nothing over here. And then everything back here. I'm in the shade like that. And you can see it's good, isn't it? Right, OK, what are we using? Oh, well, I'll tell you what we're using. Of course, we are using uh, my... Uh, draw stacks, got loads of these, of course, haven't I? So, because, of course, this has got to be compatible with all the other bits of scenery that I'm making for this block. And in actual fact, what I'm going to do, I've already cut up and split these apart to some extent. Let's take the roof off. Hang on, I don't need that. Um, what we're actually going to do is we're going to have two side by side like this. Um, they're a bit wonky, aren't they? Look at that, that's not great. But when they sit down flat, they're right. Uh, we're going to have two side by side. Um, so uh, we can have things above it, and then I might even have two side by side, and then one above, which is where the the uh, offices and things are and stuff. And I'll need a lift or stairs or something. I don't know. Haven't quite worked out yet, but definitely two side by side. Um, it's uh, the, the bar is going to be owned by a character called Smiley O'Reilly, uh, and um, I think it's going to be called the uh, what's it what's it called? The Five Leaf Clover extra lucky place. So um, that's what we're going to do. We're going to need these, uh, we're going to need foam core, and then we're going to need a bunch of stuff, because then we'll have to go digging through the organised cack. Cack, 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 cack. So, yes, uh, there we go. This is what it's going to be, and I'm going to crack on with this straight away. Uh, big thanks to Warlord Games uh, for sponsoring this Just Dread video, um, and uh, um, I'm, I'm uh, liking having their patronage, and uh, I'm nearly at the point, nearly at the point where we're going to have enough scenery to actually start doing a couple of, um, what are they called? Battle reports. Yeah, I quite fancy doing a couple of games and videoing them and, and seeing what they look like and actually put this game on the table, which is quite cool. Um, so, yeah, without any further ado, let's get over here on the workbench and crack on. Um, yeah, all right. Okay, so it's going to be a long fronted building to take up two of these units. Um, part of the idea, of course, then would be that it could be underneath parts of the hab. Let's stick that on there. Like that. Um, and all of this could be barred down here, then that kind of works quite well. So that, that, that's kind of like my plan. Um, uh, I'm going to think about how it's going to work. So. Thank you, other bits of hab unit. Off you go. See how it works? If you haven't seen, if you haven't seen any of my videos um, using these draw units, then you really ought to go back and have a check out the um, uh, the rest of my Just Drip playlist because there are quite a few bits that are using it. It's a really cool thing. Um, home base are still selling them in the UK, so from that point of view, dirt cheap, dead good. So what I'm going to do, I've, I've thought about this a little bit already, I haven't planned this, I haven't drawn this, but I have thought about it for some time, I'm not going completely blind into it like I often do. Um, I'm going to make the internals phone core, and I'm going to make 
two separate bits so that they can stack and go away separately because the key thing one of the cool things about this stuff is they fit really neatly into really useful crates so I want it to be able to come apart but then I also want to have something that's going to hold it in place and I also am going to have to cope with the fact that I've got this kind of like step over here although I'm going to put a floor in it which will get rid of that I also like the idea of one side being slightly raised up so we'll have a kind of like set of steps going up there I'll just make it a little bit more interesting solid back walls um, plastic glass fronts or well, maybe certainly over here big window there door going in it's got to be the old back door it's a pub there's got to be the old back door to escape from the various bad guys will be escape out the back of it one way or another as well so and then maybe maybe a lift up to the first floor and into a office or something up here let's see how we go right cool okay um yeah uh, what do we need we need a phone call that's what we need uh we go over there gonna go over there and get some phone call Okay, so this is the first side. Um, front wall, door cut in, used uh, Maelstrom's Edge door in there. Uh, nice Maelstrom's Edge door in the back as well. For the that's going to be the back of the bar. So this is going to be viewing to the bar. We're going to have the bar in the central area here, and then I've got the second part, which is going to fit on. on there over here. Now the problem with these making these models is I can't stick it all together in one piece because I tend to leave the plastic unpainted on it. It's just going to get dry brushed and the uh, walls sections will get sprayed because they'll be different colour. So at the minute this <laughs> bit is separate and this bit is separate and the only bit that's in is the end wall and the floor which aren't stuck in the minute because they're going to take them out to paint them and then put them back in and then when they're painted I'll stick them in and I'll stick in these walls as well but we're doing alright there so that's that's fine um, which is all good so here's the main structure going in because yeah, I'll need to paint those before I attach any other structure to them like bar and stuff but that's good I like that looking pretty good big solid door on the front of the pub um, I think I'm going to make some little steps to go out on the outside here because it's a big step up for little fellas and then on this side here I'm going to do the same thing we've got the wall go in here at the back that will probably be completely solid we're going to have this is the shuggy hall end so what I'm probably going to do here is I'm going to have uh, there won't be a door and the window will be higher up because what I want to do is raise the floor at one end I don't want all this to be the same I don't need to but it'll be more interesting from a model point of view and a gameplay point of view and then those two will butt up quite nicely and the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have because um, the interesting thing is with these things is these aren't entirely vertical these columns they split apart so I'm going to make and I'm going to take a extra piece of foam core stick on one side that will cover up and one will slot inside the other and that will cover up the gaps then which will look kind of cool um, and then this back wall that will drop in there and I may, may well put a, n another door. I've got to think about this from a gameplay point of view. Um, and having multiple exits from this, this venue will make it better for when the bad guys get holed up in the shuggy hall or whatever. And it all goes off. Um, so from that point of view, I'm going to have another door up there, I think. But the next thing I'm going to work on is actually raising up this end of the hall. Uh, I'm going to do that by making some foam core um, steps basically uh, and then we'll just make the this end higher. Only about, about 25 millimeters or so it will just give a different kind of feel to the whole place. But um, yeah so what I'm going to do is going to work out the window here. Um, I kind of intending the back wall again to be completely solid um, and then I can work out when I worked out how tall my floor is, I can work out where the door is going. Right, back to the phone call. Rats, it was going really well, and then I uh, didn't think of something. So look, I've, I've cut out the stairs here, 
right? Da -da -da -da, and I cut out this floor, which was like really cool. That was going to be the floor across there, and that was going to work really nicely because that window was going to sit there like that on that side. This is where the shuggy hall is, right? And then the, the wall over here was going to go to the back, and that was going to be fantastic. And I was going to be really happy with that, and that would be grand. Apart from the fact that the nature of this is that I put the walls in here like that and that must mean there's about a five six mil gap between the floor and the wall I don't know how clearly you can see that let me bring this right over here oh. see the camera in you bloody idiot Zzz. okay so yeah look there well, that's the problem well the problem is this this is the floor which is great that's the floor for the shuggy hall but this is where the wall slides in and the wall slides in leaving a gap so it's not it's a simple rectangle cut out on the floor but it's not a simple re single rec simple rectangle look the ruler's going right in the gap there there and that actually is a gap of about yeah eight millimeters which is really bloody annoying so that's a perfectly good bit of foam core that I'm now not going to need and I've got to rework out the length of the floor okay so here's my now my basic uh, setup done this wall is going to have to come out and get painted separately so there's that back wall there this wall here it's stuck to the floor so I can lift that out in one piece I'm not going to lift this out over here because it's all still gluing I've got to put a cobble trim on here all of this is stuck together because the walls here are pinned and attached to the floor because the floor is high and then we've got this set of stairs that go up there I just think it's going to make a more interesting kind of like model on the inside uh, when the cops arrive the shuggy's going to be going up there the bar's going to be down here. It's going to look kind of cool. I'm quite liking this. Um, right, I've got to leave that for a few minutes to let all the glue dry. Then I'm going to think about putting cardboard on the floor for texture. This model is totally coming apart. I mean, there's enough room in here for a gunfighter, which is going to be great. So, um, coming on nicely. Door, door. Now, whether I have an office up here or if I put an escalator, a lift. I quite like the idea of having a lift going up onto the first floor, actually. Mm. <coughs> I, have to, I have to question myself now from a... I have to question myself now from a narrative point of view. How powerful and wealthy is Smiley O'Reilly? Does he have an office? Well, is there more to his premises in this block? Mm. Yeah, looking good. Looking good. Quite like the idea of having pavement out the front. And I'm going to have this bit blocking off it just so it lifts up because they're quite high. Hmm. Right, so this is the guts. The inside then of this end. And this is going to enable me to um, paint the thing before I stick it in. I've car trimmed the windows and these are going to end up with uh, windows cut out of the drawer units that used to belong in this uh, and I've car trimmed the end of the stairs. Apart from this one because I don't know why I've done this one. I could do that one. Uh, this one is actually going to be seen but that's all there. So this is now the shuggy hall. Um, and that should drop in there, nice. And then this bit is the bar. Now, unusually, for me to progress this model, I'm going to have to really paint this lot before I can start doing other stuff because it's, we'll have to stick other stuff into it. I'm already beginning to like this, I, I, really, I just really like this set of stairs. What a stupid thing to get excited about, really, but. It just makes the, the, the model different levels. It's going to be an interesting thing then. There's my door. There's my window. Can't remember which way around I want my door. I think I want my door in the middle there now. 
bar's going to be over the back. So it's looking kind of cool. So I like this. I'm happy with this. Got my bar on the lower level here, main door, uh, and then uh, up the stairs to the shuggy hall. I haven't decided whether I'm going to go up a floor. Uh, may well do that, but it's looking pretty good. It's quite a big establishment, um, which is kind of cool. I'm going to have, like I said previously, a panel across the front there to cover up the gap. And I think I'm also going to build up um, a pavement that goes out on the outside as well. Um, purely to, to get over the fact that these, these steps are so bloody high. They're the same on the ground floor and all the buildings actually in this um, uh, this set. They're really high up. It's the only weird bit. I've got the lip at the end of this building here, which means I'll be able to put some posters on the wall there. And I might even have a, um, a rubbish bin or plants and things. And then at the other end... I've got this door here which has also got a lip which I'm going to put a really small set of stairs do, 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 down there as well so that, that kind of like oh, there's an escape way out. It's, yeah, it's actually coming together really quick um, so I need to get this bit painted so I can start to make sense of it. So off to the garage to go and wield grey primer first of all although I might end up spraying this a kind of uh, wraith bone colour. Oh we'll see, but well, grey primer first. Do I put anything down on the floor? That's the next big question. No, oh, we're going to worry about that afterwards. Prime. Okay, so I have undercoated, sprayed, ran out of grey, so I went with this kind of like, um, bony kind of, beigey kind of colour. Which actually works quite well, because it'll go well with the rest of the uh, the colour of the scheme for the, the block and stuff. So what I'm going to do now is, now I've done that, I am going to stick in some of these bits and then we're gonna have a look at what else we've got in mind let's <laughs> uh, find some glue first easier said than done around here oh no it's behind it right okay Again, this might not be a hugely long video because using the uh, shelf stacking, stacking shelf drawer unit has reduced the build time hugely, which is cool. I like it. It also really helps give that kind of like modern kind of block view. Yeah, I've watched recently this weekend, it's the August Bank Holiday weekend, I've watch both dread films again and both dread films even though I like the Stallone one because the the general oh shit I've stuck that all the way around <laughs> the general look of, of Mega City One in the distance out close they're still it's all still knackered and, and crappy concrete and that still isn't all of what I've got in, what I have in mind. Still a lot of bits of it to be kind of like clean. But a bit seedy, so that's stuck in there. I can stick that back door in. <sighs> Front door, tight my lock. It's just, just not, I haven't cut it quite tight enough. <sighs> now I've got this bit done, I'm going to have to start making this now look like a bar and shuggy hole. It's kind of going to be the tricky part, I think. Well, the fun part in some ways, because actually, apart from anything else, it's the set dressing that's a laugh. So, I'll put shit if I put that all the way around. Oh no, we could do that. Let's do that. We'll get to that secret bit in a minute. Okay, let's put that in there. Yep. 
Take one bit and this other bit. Shook it out anyway. There it is, boys and girls. Looking lush. There's my bar stuck together then. Well, I've got to let the glue go off there a little bit. I'm going to think about it, start putting stuff on the inside now. Um, some time ago, I bought a bunch of stuff for Core Space. Don't know if you've ever come across Core Space. It's another sci-fi game. This is uh, uh, an expansion called Shoot Out of Zeds, which is a bar. And now Core Space. Core Space looks pretty cool. I I never. I bought a load, and then during the pandemic, and then I mostly gave it away to a mate of mine. Hi, Jeff. Um, Core Space comes with loads of buildable cardboard scenery, which rather strikes me like the idea is it's really kind of modular. It's really great because you get to kind of like build loads of different stuff. But it looks like there's an awful lot of building going on every time you want to play, which is where I probably gave up with it. But you do get some nice kind of like printed elements. And what I've decided to do, I've got this, I meant to give this to my mate Jeff as well, but I totally failed. So I've decided to use it. It's kind of like neat, it's a bar. So look, there's a little, one bit's falling off. There's a little bar in it, which is very spacey and sci-fi. So I think that's very, that's got to go in here. That's got to be a bar in my, got to be in my, my, my uh, bar. We'll have a look at that probably in a minute. And there's, then there's, um, actually there's a four piece which is kind of cool and I think I've decided actually that that's going to be, uh, be the floor underneath this bar. I don't know where it's supposed to go in the actual Z, you know, the, the kind of like core space thing but that'll look quite nice. It'll break up the floor a little bit which is kind of good. Um, then there was this bit which is kind of, I don't know, some kind of back roomy kind of thing which I thought actually one of the things that my bar is kind of missing at the moment is toilets. You know, there are no conveniences. There's this really funky little uh, aliens convenience toilet sign, which I'm going to hang over the top of that, and that's going to do that, and then I'm going to stick that uh, in this back section over here. So I haven't got me lift up to the first floor, but I have got a loo in the corner of my bar, which is going to be quite neat. And all of that printed kind of light material is going to look quite kind of cool in there, I hope. Um, so bar in there, toilet in there, uh, then I've been digging through the cack to try and find various bits and pieces. So definitely going to need uh, another video games machine, retro style. Um, that could be kind of up here against the bar wall, maybe or down here in the bar itself. Um, a set of shelves going to go behind the bar, old school traditional kind of shelves. I might even have two sets of those, don't know, might mount that up on the wall. They need drinks and things on there. Um, I need, this needs to have um, other stuff in it. I've got the odd table like that from, uh, what's it called, uh, from Mantic Train Crate. Although on the back of the core space box, or on the front of the core space box, it shows these funky kind of triangular type tables. Now they aren't part of this set, they came in the main set which I've given away. But I do quite like the idea of having kind of like funky triangular table, so I'm almost tempted to make some of those. There is a really cool thing, um, which is a TV screen. Check it out. Oh, it's got American football on it, which is a bit weird, but I think that would be good. We make this a sports bar. That could definitely go in one corner of the bar in the lounge. Mount that on the wall, I think. Up here, that would be pretty neat. Um, so that's, I'm definitely going to use it. I'll make use of a lot of this stuff. That's my kind of current plan um, to kind of like space up the uh, this this kind of like location. So I'm thinking, uh, yeah, I'm thinking of having bar there, shuggy up the top. Shuggy, I need to find the shuggy tables. I've made some shuggy tables already. Let me show you. Oh, okay, these are shuggy tables. Check them out. I've made these out of uh, XPS foam. It's about ugh, I can't remember how thick that is. 5mm thick XPS foam, 24 holes in the chucky table board. I've done these in blue bays rather than green bays. Cut out little kind of spacey kind of like table legs for them. So they're going to end up in the bar up the top. I'm probably going to need, I could do the third one really I think. 
for space for Shuggy. But that's quite cool. So it's kind of coming on. I'm liking the look of this. Um, one of the things I've got, I have got, is this, this gap that goes in the middle here. It's not massive, I could probably live with it. But I think to add a bit of colour to the outside of this as well, because they will get dry brush kind of grey, um, I've cut just some foam core like this, which I'm going to stick to one of the two bits of scenery. Um, so it slots in and it covers up the gap. It will need cardboard trim down both sides, and then I'll paint that. Probably paint that that uh, kind of like warpstone green that uh, I've used on other bits of train as well, which is pretty neat. Um, I'll do that. Actually, that'll sit at a height. I could just trim that tiny little bit because I'm going to make a bit of floor to go under there as well. Um, and then the other thing I thought I might do. Um, is use a couple of these ah drop one boards I don't know whether they're worth using on the walls they're quite funky in places I thought I might put them up on the other wall in the bar just to uh, yeah I don't know maybe not half wall wall I don't know where they go with the aesthetic of everything else. Mm, mm, interesting things to do. But yeah, so this, definitely cut this out, mount that on one, get it painted green. That'll be interesting. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we're kind of coming on. Well, actually, I mean, in not very much time at all, I've kind of come up with most of this model. It's quite neat. Um, I want to make this as much of a pub as I can, but I don't want to overpopulate it with stuff because the problem with that is the fact that then it becomes unplayable. Um, the windows are going to be the next kind of like challenge as well. But I need to find the other bar bits and bits and pieces, the modern kind of stuff. Yeah. Get in there, get in there, I like it a lot. I think this is going to be quite a short video, this one. All right, I'm jumping around a little bit now, trying to do all the different things. I've kind of like um, uh, one of the things I've done is made a long sofa. Look at that! Look, uh, 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 to go on one side. Although I might cut it in half, but that needs to be mob poshed and painted and stuck in one side. Then I could have, make some little tables to go down the side there, and then I jump from that to making windows. So taking the draw uh, from the. Um, the shelf, the draw unit, and uh, now I'm going to cut out a window. Uh, now my plan, this is the big one going in the front of the bar. Try not to slice myself open with it. Just chatting with my lovely wife the other day, who is a bit of a demon with a Cree cut. I don't know if you've ever come across Cree cuts before. While well, I'm um, using different tools for different jobs. Cree cuts make kind of transfers and stickers and stuff. What we're going to hope to do is to make actual Cree cut stickers to go in the windows of all of my buildings. Got to learn how to do it, got to learn how to make my own transfers. I think it'd be kind of really kind of cool. It'd be a good way of doing shop sign writing, yeah. This stuff is thicker than it looks. A bit like me, really. Splits. Oh, you don't need to watch this bit. Now, as I continue with this kind of like 
random order of things I'm doing here. I'm going a bit green here on these bits here. I've got these big flat spaces, um, wall sections that uh, were sprayed. Out the front, most of it is window. So that around there. Window down here. Just cut out and windows up here, which you can't see. Um, now let's just move that one out of the way. So out the front of the uh, the bar are, are the windows. So um, they are not. I don't need to put much else on there because by the time I've got, I'm going to have logos in these. He's going to say shoggy. Uh, I might have the odd bit of graffiti, but I have got big flat sections here, which I think are gagging for some more of these big bits of, of graffiti. I think they'll look pretty cool on there and there's one on the back there and I can put one on the back wall which is quite nice. I also, looking at it, I just realised now I need to make a little set of steps down here from this doorway up here which is rather high up. A uh, rostered door that goes in it. Anyway. So um, that door will be kind of like there. I like it because I've torn away a bit of the uh, outside of the phone call there so it looks a bit ruined and knackered there. I have the old panel on the wall and various other bits and pieces. What I've got to do now actually is get all the little details and getting them all sprayed and painted so I can just bung them in, stick them into the model. I've got to decide on all the little bits of painting. So before I go applying transfers, I think it could actually be time to go digging through the cat. Digging through the cat. Cat, 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 cat. Digging through the cat. Digging through the cat. What am I going to go and look for? What am I going to go and look for? Control panels and air vents and screens. Um, I think that will all be pretty cool. Um, one of the things I'd like to see if I can find is find some screens. Look, I've got these um, posters. I think I printed these from one of the Necromunda uh, Facebook groups. Uh, but they might be quite cool if I, I put the odd screen with the odd kind of advert running on it. I don't just necessarily want to stick posters. I can. I could just stick posters on the wall inside the bar. But uh, I quite like the idea of having screens showing adverts so i need to do that as well so i'm going to go and do some digging through the cac um i need to it's quite good because the cac is mostly up there in those those drawer units many of them were labeled with things like control panel or sci-fi trim or ship bits or interesting sf plant that's where i need to be looking to find stuff that can go on the outside of this model and then what i need to do is yeah like i said paint them all and then I can individually stick them on. Good, good, good. But uh, having said that, I'm going to go digging through the clerk, the, the cack, 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 cack. I might not go digging through the cack, 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 because it's now, right now, well, it's just 1.28 in the morning. Um, and I've got to get out and go and do a photo shoot for, well, tomorrow's the, today is the 27th of August. And I'm going to go and do a photo shoot for Father Christmas in a few hours in central London um, so yeah dig through the cack tomorrow I think right cutting out windows out of plastic trays with Stanley knife cutty cut cut towards my own stomach <laughs> slipped put t-shirt knife <clears throat> through shirt into stomach pissed blood everywhere Ow! Don't do this at home, kids. That was really fucking stupid. Um, yeah, I'm not going to bother you with that fucking... Oh, it really hurts. Mm, yeah, okay. Um, mm -hmm. It was quite a lot of blood for a moment. Stopped quite quickly, though. Uh, that's the, the kind of like the handy side of being kind of like fat hobby Gandalf. This kind of like, you know, not much there, but Jesus, wet. <laughs> Bit of a mistake. <laughs> Big fucking loads of it, look. So that's that's my claret that is bleeding for you fuckers right so anyway look i was gonna I was talking about doing this with the creek cut earlier but actually um <laughs> put this out of the way um i wanted another way of doing this uh because um a creek cut solution will be quite good and in the future I may well do that but I wanted something I could do real quick and also it's real affordable so a printed sign for the pub window the, the bar's called the five leaf clover and it belongs to O'Reilly says O'Reilly's five leaf clover and there's a five leaf clover I'm now going to take 
some sharpies and I'm going to write over the top of it and see what I can, how I can make this come out. I'm going to draw the five leaf guy, we're going to paint it on the window and I'm going to do that with sharpies and see where it works and um, then I'm going to stick it on the window. I've already made these windows say shuggy. I don't know how you can see that because the light's shining for it. Hang on. No better. It's a shuggy in both windows. Which is kind of cool. So I'm going to do O'Reilly's thing there. And actually, apart from spraying up scenery and bits and pieces, we're, we're very nearly there. Oh, it's time it really hurts. Glad I didn't have to go and get my wife up. I have to tell her in the morning I stuck a fucking knife in my stomach. She is not going to be very impressed with me. Okay, there it is. Oh, that come out? Get a piece of paper. <clears throat> Put behind that like that. A Riley's five leaf clover. I'm quite happy with that. That'll do the job very nicely. I'm now at the point where really I need to just be painting details and them. Go and spray a bunch of stuff. Spray a door. And uh, get things done. We're nearly there. Looking pretty good. I'm looking forward to getting some figures on the table with this. Uh, I need to make a step to go out the front. Some steps still undone out the back door. Good progress though. Okay, so I am now pretty much nearly finished. I've got I've got a whole load of little details painted and ready to add, like my. Homemade seats, can you see those? Yeah. Um, shelves to go behind the bar. Uh, little computer screens with things on them. Added Judge Dread posters and stuff uh, to go inside and out. Got my shuggy boards. Um, I'm just dry brushing a bit of grey onto the outside of the thing to make it less kind of shiny white um, and then the next thing to do is to add some graffiti which uh, I always feel conflicted about well I don't really feel conflicted about it that's a lot because um, it always looks great but it's graffiti on the whole, especially big graffiti, would not go unpunished in the Meg, but it will look pretty good on the end wall or something, bits and pieces, so a couple of places I'm going to put a couple of lumps of graffiti, really helps to kind of give it that urban kind of feel, um, so uh, that's that's the next job and then I'm going to stick all the bits in I couldn't decide if I was going to leave all the bits loose or stick all the bits in but I think I am going to stick all the bits in um, otherwise they just kind of roll around and it's a bit crap so. I'm also going to add the old poster to the outside if you look around the various 2000 AD Facebook groups there's some pretty good posters um, in file sections the problem is these posters I'm never too sure about posters and whether they'd still be using print posters in Mega City 1 or whether it'd all be on screens but uh, cool things like no illegal aliens that's the law and there's the odd advert for Otto Sumps although I'm going to save some of those for the ugly shop but uh, yeah, Uncle Ump wants you. There's the odd thing though, so. Oh, a post on the inside wall. Slurm soda. It's highly addictive. Although, I don't know whether, again, that would be approved of in the Big Meg. But uh, these things really help to kind of like give that lived in feel. So I'm definitely going to do that. I'm willing to overlook 100% authenticity. It's made up after all. Thank you.
graffiti on the walls. Not too much because it gets cleaned up regularly. Nice big one there. I'm on the end. So now I'm sticking stuff in. I had debated whether I was going to stick in all the bits, but I've decided to definitely stick in the bits. Um, mainly because otherwise, when I put it away, it just rocks and rolls around this pain in the ass. So it's just easier if I stick it together. Not like the bits I'm going to be using for anything else, and this is always going to be a shuggy haul, so from that point of view. Uh, so here's my bar from. fuck it's called. This is my core space model. The bar from Z. One bit I'm stuck on so I might go around the outside put a tiny little bit of paint on the trim of this. Are you twink? <laughs> Stuck that one on upside down. I think there's supposed to be beer touch in there. Glue on the bottom of each one of those. And stick that on the base. Yeah, if you don't stick it down, it just rocks and rolls and falls all over the place and it's a bit crap, so. Stick it down is the way you go. That's going to stick there, that's going to be behind the bar there. Post drop behind it, slow. Look, I'm going to stick a bunch of stuff in you don't need to watch me do this. First floor, I mean it could be multiple floors of course, but uh, I'll put them on just to see what it looks like. Just realised I get these gravy. Never mind. Come on the scamps between things. Hmm. Anyway, uh, mostly done. I'm kind of calling it done for this video. I've got to make a platform to go out the front here. And still, I haven't made any door uh, stairs to go out the back door. But um, it's pretty much done. I want to get this video completed. So um, I'm going to bring the camera down here in a minute, and we'll have a look at it. Right. Well, that's my uh, pub. Just about finished. I've got a couple of bits to do to it to tart it up. There's enough room in the shuggy hall area to build another shuggy table for a start, and I need stairs out of the back exit. But uh, I'm pretty much certainly happy with it as it is. It's ready to go on the table. It could certainly be used in the game. So I need to move on. There are so many projects I want to be getting on with. Um, now I'm not sure uh, where I am with my big meg stuff. I need to find time to get it all out on the table again and put it all together like I did a little while ago because. Uh, Smiley O'Reilly's adds a, um, quite a lot because it's double spread so that will add up and I need to make some more hab units just to kind of build on that block. There are bits of this which I'm really really happy with. I like the layout, I like the way it works, it fits together really neat, it's really cool. Um, it looks great with figures on it, you'll get to see that in a minute. I'll do some um, kind of like flybys with the camera. I can't put it on Lazy Susan, it's too big to go on Lazy Susan, and I'm replaced with Lazy Susan, but we'll, we'll have a look, it does look pretty cool with figures. The windows, they kind of work uh, with the Sharpies, they certainly work from a, a quick tabletop point of view, from a really slick scenery point of view, I think I probably am still going to experiment with, with Heidi's Cree cut and, and uh, actually kind of like cut out bits and stick them in the window, because they'll just look better printed, uh, the stuff with the problem with kind of using sharpies is they look like they've been done freehand, which they have been done freehand, and they're alright and it works and you can look at it quickly. It says Shuggy Hall and Five Leaf Clover and that kind of thing, but I think some computer generated uh, Cree cut kind of like transfers stuck in those windows would look absolutely brilliant. Which means, of course, I'll have to make more windows, which means, of course, I'll put myself at risk of chopping myself up a little bit more. Stomach still hurts, however, I did stop bleeding, it was all good. 
Oops. Don't do that at home, kids. Very, very silly. So, uh, this Dread project is now really ready to go on the table. I could start playing this now. I've got plenty of stuff to be getting on with. I need just to fiddle around and put a few things together uh, and work out how it works. And I'm really, really happy with this. So, uh, um, I, if you've enjoyed this Dread content, or the Dread content I've been making this year, please do leave a comment down below if you're new to this channel. Uh, I will be um, going to the Warlord Open Day uh, in September. I've been invited along to that. Um, which is mostly going to be about bolt action but of course there'll be just dread stuff there and all the rest of it so if any of you are coming to that and you bump into me please do say hello uh, and tell me what you think if you've enjoyed this video uh, please leave a comment down below you know like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff leave a comment I'd love to know what you think if there are bits of this I could have done differently leave a comment let me know what you think if you'd like to be part of my Patreon and support this channel further you can of course at uh, www.patreon dot com slash Magathia Builder World. Um, in the very near future I'll be announcing the next major competition that's for all Patreon viewers uh, and there is currently a Patreon competition for Prefect members for while we're on Judge Dread stuff this piece of scenery which I'm giving away uh, an objective piece of scenery nice little sushi bar ba based on a uh, TT Combat uh, model, but uh, all jazzed up by me. Looks pretty cool. So, if you would like this for nothing, well, not for nothing, because you have to sign up to my Patreon, but if you'd like this or to get hold of other objective bits of scenery, then join my Patreon. Um, so, yes, I've really, really enjoyed this Judge Dread project so far. The next challenge is to fit it all in the crates and make sure it all goes away where I need it to, because at the minute it's all just piled up over there and behind me. Yeah, and it will fit in crates because I bought these kind of like stacking shelf units because I know that three of them will fit in a really useful crate, which is kind of cool. Um, so from that point of view, I can get a lot of terrain away. I could also use the drawers that go into some of these things, maybe as storage, but you know, on the whole, uh, things like the noodle bar and the uh, fast food joint I made last week, last time, and the the fountain all that kind of stuff that's all going to have to go in a separate box too so uh, if you have not tried Warlord's uh, um, Judge Dread game system or the other systems that go with it it's like Slain and ABC Warriors and Rogue uh, uh, not Rogue what was it called um, uh, SD Strontium Dog um, Johnny Alpha uh, do check them out great great system really good fun uh, and uh, that's kind of it what are we doing oh yeah we're going to sign off um, I think I might be going back to the North Imbra and and Anglia and building some B and B stuff next. We'll have to wait and see, but I, I think that's where I'm kind of like drifting. Although Carnivali beckons for a number of different reasons. Um, so what happens next with Magnetia Builder Worlds? I don't know. You'll have, just have to stay tuned, subscribe, and watch. Uh, but however, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed all this content. Uh, if you have, remember comment. If you haven't, comment. Either way around. Thank you very much for watching Magnetia Builder Worlds. I'll see you next time. I was going to take the lid off and have a look inside the pub, shall we? Okay, we'll do that. So we. Come on.